Let's say you're replacing a door, and the door you're going to use is perhaps a steel door, maybe a fiberglass door, or even a fiber core door. Yet the look you're trying to achieve is this, a rich wood grain look. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do this very easily using Czar wood stain. All you need are a few simple things, a Czar graining tool, a dry brush, some lint-free rags or an inexpensive foam brush, and Zara wood stain and polyurethane. Now let me show you just how easy it really is. What we're going to do is wood grain this door. This is a steel door, but before we do anything, we need to make sure that it's clean. You can use a paint thinner or a mineral spirits, and mineral spirits is what I'm going to use. Now I'll work on just one section at a time, beginning with the inside panel. I'll wipe on a thin coat of stain, like this, and then draw the graining tool down using a rocking motion to create the wood grain pattern. Okay, now one thing you'll always want to do is do the center panels or the inside panels, these raised panels first, and then work your way out to the longer runs of the door. It simply works better that way. Now, something I did not mention to you earlier, there are areas where the graining tool will not reach, and those areas are right in here. And sometimes you'll get puddles of stain down in there, but that's not a problem. All you have to do is get a dry brush and work those puddles out and simulate the grain and brush it just like so and smooth it out and then you have a nice smooth finish and it works great. Now as far as graining the longer panels, there really is no one way to use the graining tool. It's up to your taste. Just don't get carried away with the rocking of the tool and it'll end, well, also don't push it sideways. There's an oops there, but that's one of the beauties of this product. You do not have to worry about it. You just come back with fresh stain. Watch this. Fresh stain all the way down on this cheesecloth and start over and then try not to make an oops again, Pat. Once I've gotten the look I want, I'll let the door dry. Okay, the grain coat is dry now. It's a brand new day, so we're ready for the next step, which is to apply the tone coat. Using the same Zara wood stain, I'll apply another thin coat of stain using a lint-free cloth. A thin coat will reveal more of the grain. A heavier coat will hide it. This really does look like wood. Use a dry brush to feather out any streaks or lap marks and then simply let the stain dry. Finally, we need to apply a protective finish. Since this side is going to be exposed to direct sunlight, we'll use Zar Exterior Polyurethane. For the inside surface of the door, use Zar Interior Polyurethane. Fiberglass and composite doors come with the wood grain pattern already embossed in their surface. To finish these embossed doors, you can simply wipe on Zar wood stain, working it into the grain. Smooth the stain out in the direction of the embossed grain pattern, then use a dry brush to feather out any streaks or lap marks. It's just that easy. Now here's an important tip for you. Whenever you're working with solvent-based paint finishing products, you need to dispose of all of the waste, the rags, the brushes, etc. properly. What we're going to do is put them in a can, and then we want this to be a sealable can too. After everything is in the can, we'll fill it with water, we'll seal it, and then we'll dispose of it properly. You too can achieve this same wood stain look on your own, and as you saw, it was very fast and it's very easy. Look for Czar Wood Stain and Czar Polyurethane at your paint store, your hardware store, your lumber yard, and your home center.